Today we're going to talk about transportation, which is a complete blender add-on that can help you manage a huge library of high-quality vehicles and cars, in addition to shaders, HDRIs, and backplates inside Blender. This add-on can basically be a great and easy way for creating highly realistic shots that include vehicles. We all know that creating cars, trucks, or planes is at least going to take you days, so transportation add-on is great if you want to save time and money for these kind of projects. It contains more than 55 high-quality models of vehicles of all kinds, like trucks, sports cars, SUVs, airplanes, motorcycles, classic cars, public transportation, and so on. To be honest, the first thing that struck me and captivated my attention is how much value you are getting after you purchase this add-on, because it comes in two versions, $59 for the Pro version and $29 for the Lite version. So in two clicks, you will choose your vehicle category from the 55 models PBR Ready models and import them into Blender. Change the color of the car using already configured car paint or create your own paint with the transportation editor. There are also more than 70 HDRIs optimized for Blender that are included in the package. They are light and easy to use and they can generate fast and super realistic results. And of course, in addition to more than 320 backplates available in the background to embed your car in the image and get a photorealistic rendering super fast. This Blender add-on does not only have assets, but a lot of other features as well. For example, it has a beautiful and easy interface to make the use of the add-on pleasant. It is clean and very fast to understand for those who don't have a lot of experience. One of the features that you will need is the ability to easily stick the vehicle to the surface with the snap to ground button, because sometimes when you add the vehicle to the scene, it will not be positioned properly. The vehicles are attached, but if you want to edit them, it is possible with the make editable button. You can change the mesh, materials, and textures, meaning that the models are completely customizable. Also, it is important to mention that all cars, motorcycles, trucks, and so on will be rendered correctly using the real-time render engine EV in addition to cycles as well. In addition to that, the transportation add-on offers a wide range of more than 70 car paint shaders, metallic, matte, and shiny. You also have the possibility of creating your own car paint from three presets, and by choosing the exact color you are looking for through creating your own custom color. Before you start rendering, you need to know that for each HDRI, there are many backplate images that you can insert in the background of your images. Just to be clear, Backplace allows you to insert 3D vehicles directly onto the high-quality image for better rendering and integration of the objects with the scene. And to achieve even more believable results, you can create a transparent shadow on the ground. As we said before, Transportation Add-on puts at your disposal more than 70 HDRI images. All these HDRIs are 360 degrees, with the sky and the ground. And they are all optimized for a blender to save time and productivity. They are neither too big nor too small, but perfectly adjusted to obtain realistic lighting and very fast rendering. In general, they are faster than most HDRIs, in addition to the fact that you will not have to pay for all these HDRIs, which is fantastic by the way. In the Pro version, you have 55 3D high quality vehicles, which means you are paying around $1.18 per vehicle, if we look at it from the perspective of the value you are getting from the models. If you try to purchase these cars, airplanes, and motorcycles, is going to cost you at least $100 per each one. For me, this is kind of mind-blowing, so if your work includes vehicles, I could not emphasize how valuable this add-on is because you'll be saving yourself thousands of dollars. If you want to take a look at this amazing add-on, you can find it in the link in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.